Good morning to you all. I'm out again vlogging. It's a very cold morning, by the way. It is uh, just approaching 7 a.m. It's currently minus 15 degrees Celsius. No wind, which is nice. And I've been wanting to do this for quite a long time now. It's come down to Niagara Falls for a sunrise. And uh, I think today is the day. Unfortunately, there is a little bit of cloud out and about. Uh, but there's a little break in the cloud just to our east southeast where the sun's going to come up so uh, hopefully we'll get some nice footage so well uh, come on join me my name is nigel the channel's nigel's cheats vlogs and we're going to be doing a sunrise video here today at niagara falls oh, i can't even feel my bloody fingers i gotta carry my tripod all right off we go now the good thing about being down here so early in the morning you're the only person here <laughs> So it's kind of nice, but look, we're in a proper winter's wonderland around here. Niagara Falls, end of January, dead of winter, and we've now had a good couple of weeks of really cold weather. So the ice is now starting to build down here. So I'm hoping we'll get some nice shots and get to show you, the viewer, what Niagara Falls looks like today, this morning. Oh, oh I love that sound of that roar. Oh yeah, we have quite a bit of ice down there. Look at that. All right, we'll carry on making our way down there, get to a good spot where I want to get the footage from. I think someone's already in the spot I'm thinking of because the sun, I got, I got the coordinates. It comes up in the 114 degrees uh, to the south, southeast, southeast, south, I should say. Hang on, get that right. It, it rises from the uh, 114 degrees east to southeast, which I think is just over there. So this could be a good spot right here. It'll give me the view of the whole waterfall with the sun coming up from the left. But I'll try and maybe go a bit closer. I don't want to get too close down there because I don't want that mist to come over. So I'm thinking somewhere close to here is going to be pretty good. All right, I've got myself set up. There's quite a few people uh, down here doing the same thing, bit of photography, bit of video work. Now, did you know that the falls has actually never really ever frozen over? Even though a lot of people say it has, it never actually has. You see, when the, uh, when the falls comes over, all the water comes over and it gets bitterly cold like it is today, the ice forms from the bottom and makes its way up. So all that spray you see freezes on contact with anything can find. All this ice down here starts building, it gets clogged up, then the ice starts to build from the bottom upwards and it creates this illusion that the, the falls is completely frozen over where in fact the water's falling in from behind it. So there you have it. And then there is a, technically a point where the falls did freeze and that was back in uh, 1848, I believe. And that was only due to the fact that Lake Erie completely froze over. And when the ice broke, it created an ice jam, which actually stopped the water from coming down Niagara Falls. So that is the only time in history where technically the falls, the falls are actually frozen over. Where it didn't, it's just that the water had stopped further on. We're just about five, six minutes away from sunrise. Some nice shots of this. What a beautiful morning down here. Absolutely beautiful. So you can see the mist rising way back over there towards the parking lot.
All right, any minute now? About two or three minutes away. Now, did you know that Niagara Falls attracts nearly, well, just slightly over 20 million visitors a year? That's approximately 13 or 14 million for the Canadian side and about eight to nine million per year on the uh, US side. But that, those numbers are actually before COVID, so it's a lot lower right now. But hopefully the next couple of years, we'll start seeing those numbers coming back again. But hard to believe, like 20 million people a year come down here. It's fascinating. Looking at all those ice circles down there. And I'm sure of this cold spell. I remember, I remember coming down here once before, uh, six, seven years ago, and this was virtually all frozen. It was quite a spectacular sight to see. So with it all getting full of ice down there, if the cold weather continues, it's only a matter of time before we could still see it. Sunrise, Niagara Falls. Wasn't the most beautifulest, uh, but then again, it's still happening, so it, it could still happen. Because <laughs> you can just about see it now, just coming over. Oh, actually, this could end up being really, really nice. This could be really nice, especially with that black snow cloud over there. Oh, look at that. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. The sun underneath the, uh, the mist creates a nice orange glow.
that's always nice to see. The mist is now just uh, coming off the water as the sun has now hit the, the river. In the cold air, you can see the mist just coming right off the top of the river. The nice colors of orange in the mist cloud here, beautiful. That is the dawn of a new day here in Niagara Falls. But that's just fantastic. I hope you enjoyed that. That was uh, sunrise down here, end of January in Niagara Falls. It was spectacular. But it truly was worth getting up this morning and driving down here and seeing that. I've not seen a sunrise down here for many years and I've never seen one in the dead cold of winter. So that was a first for me and I'm glad I got it. Anyway, uh, still got more things to do today. I'm gonna go down to uh, on my other project now. Well, I'm gonna go home and have some breakfast first. Oh, get my glove back on, give me a second. Oh, it's cold. <laughs> All right, there we go. Right, gotta go and do my uh, other venture, which is um, uh, the Lake Erie Ice Buildup, series of videos I'm doing following the ice buildup on Lake Erie this winter. So I've gotta do episode three today. So I'll put a link at the end of this video uh, to direct you to that series so you can check that out and uh, I'll be filming episode 3 today so I'm going to be going down to uh, do a quick look at Port Coburn and then back to Crystal Beach and I've not been down there now for like 5-6 days so I have a feeling we're going to see a lot of ice on Lake Erie today and so anyway check those videos out they're all short ones they're all less than 10 minutes so uh, anyway thanks for watching my name is Nigel the channel is Nigel's Cheap Vlogs and this is me being in Niagara Falls doing a sunrise in the dead of winter. I'm cold.